And it feels so bright It's like luck is raining on me Go and follow your heart Doesn't matter how far Hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm making my favorite Ghanaian soup which is lye soup with dry fish so yeah here's our own ingredients we've got onions and um garlic scotch bonnet pepper garden eggs and of course ginger we've also got some tomatoes tomato puree and our meat and for the dry fish we've got mackerel which i baked myself and then we've got the biggest smoked catfish i've ever seen guys look at how big this catfish is <laughs> anyways let's get our soup started so first thing is first i'm gonna sprinkle my onions on top of the meat and then i'm gonna be putting the rest of my vegetables in the meat just so it could all steam together So for seasoning, I'm going to be using some salt, aromat, as you guys know how much I love using aromat. I'm also going to be using um, shrimp maggi, I'm only going to be using one cube. So after seasoning my meat, I'm going to be leaving it to steam for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, I'm removing my vegetables from the meat. So I'm going to remove everything apart from the garden eggs. What I'm going to be doing is to blend my vegetables and then put it back into my soup. So here I'll be putting two teaspoons of tomato puree into the soup and I'm going to give that a good stir and I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for about five minutes. So after five minutes it's time for me to take out my garden eggs. So what I do is I blend the garden eggs with the tomato. So you're going to see me do that now. So yeah, after I blend the garden eggs with the tomatoes, I'm going to be pouring it back into the soup. And what I do is I normally fill up the blender with about three and a half cups of water. And then I pour it back into the soup. So after pouring in my tomatoes, I'm going to allow my soup to cook for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, it's time for me to put in my dry fish. Um, I normally put in the dry fish um, 20 minutes till the soup is cooked because if I put it in in the beginning, the fish will all break into the soup and trust me guys, it's not going to be nice. So yeah, I'm going to cook it for a further 20 minutes and our soup will be done. As you guys can see, the soup is ready. We're having it with fufu, of course. We love fufu in our house, guys. We eat fufu every single week and this happened to be my favorite Ghanaian soup of all time let me know in the comment section what your favorite soup is thank you guys so much for watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video also please go watch my previous video on how to make palm soup and next week we'll be making another soup bye guys